on this call are about to do. So a massive congratulations to you. Again, you know, if you've been finding these calls valuable, if you've been getting nuggets, if you know that your trading game has elevated in some way, shape or form, you know, since we've been doing these calls on Monday, go into the chat box right now, put a 77, you already know, I didn't even have to say it, but <laughs> put the 777 if you know that you're going to the next level through this trade camp, it has been crazy. On Monday, we have Mr. Ralph Danqua. On Tuesday, we had Mr. Rock Kumer. And today, we have the king of New York, Mr. Stevenson Lindo. And I'm fired up. Man, things are about to double double. Things are about to be great. And I'm so, so excited. This guy's like a brother to me. Every boot camp we do, it would be weird if we didn't have Mr. Stevenson Lindo. All right? He's like our favorite educator. He's our He's our family, you know, he's a part of the family. And, you know, this guy is such a massive contribution to why we as an organization are seeing such great results through Bounce Back. And it's such a wonderful product. And I'm so happy and grateful now to have him here today to really break down so every single one of you guys know how to utilize this tool, right? Without further ado, I'm actually not going to do too much talking on leadership today. But what I am going to do, I'm going to bring up one of our top developing leaders, one of the top leaders in this organization, literally about to go out there and do amazing things. And I know because we started this call a little late today, I couldn't drop the leadership nuggets that I wanted to on this call, but we shall do that tomorrow. But instead of that, I'm going to actually give the spotlight to this amazing individual. He's someone that's been plugging in from the jump, someone that came into this purely just to trade, right? You know, he's come in, he's really done that. He's mastered the craft of trading, right? And he's actually managed to lead a team of over 25 people, you know? and you know, with that being said, you guys know that he's about to smash through the next level. I ain't going to do too much talking on that, but he's an amazing guy. I see him as a brother. You know, he spoke to me this year. He said, you know, Montel, at the beginning of the year, I really prayed to God that I found a, I wanted a mentor, right? I needed a mentor to follow. And, you know, God led me to you. So, you know, he's someone that, you know, we've been just together day in, day out, and he doesn't get tired. He makes me laugh. He's one of the funniest guys I know. So I want you guys to go put some love and some appreciation into the chat. But this person has been killing bounce back, right? Changing his life and his family's life. He said his biggest day, and he's a, he's a, he's a student in, in university, guys, right? He's a student in university. His biggest day whilst trading at university was 1.6 thousand, right? 1,600, 1.6K, right? Using this tool that you guys are gonna hear from today, okay? Only age, I believe he's 19, right? 19 touching 20. Right, you're gonna hear from my brother, from another mother, right? The one and only. He goes by the MVP, right? He calls himself the MVP. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me find him right here in this chat box. I'm gonna unmute him, and it's so funny when when, when I bring him up, I say Montando, man. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I can find his his picture. I'm gonna bring him up. There we go, guys. Put it mm, VP, so M M M V P in the chat box for the one and only Mr. Matondo Wasm Buka. Let's go. Can you hear me, bro? I can hear you. I can hear you. Not. Let me give it all the way back to you, Monton. Let me give it all the way back to you because you know it's been an, it's been an amazing year. It's been you know we started the year really looking for you know direction and guidance and you know God only does what God does best. You know He puts people in your path that you, you know you know to inspire you to help you guide yourself to, you know, help you become the best person, the best individual, in fact. And, you know, I just want to give it to, you know, the reason why I really want to, you know, speak on the individual that's going to come and do this leadership training is because this individual spoke to me, spoke to me real personally. And what I love about him is so direct. I think he's probably, the, in my opinion, the best communicator on the platform. I think a lot of them are great educators, great teachers, everyone's got a great strategy, but Mr. Stevenson Lindo has an exceptional way of communicating his strategy to the masses, enabling anyone and everyone to, you know, conquer and succeed. You know, me, myself, and I, I'm a product of the product. When I started up, I didn't know too much. I didn't know what was going on. And then as soon as I got introduced, you know, to Stevenson Lindo, things began, began to change. And then, obviously, other individuals know me. I also now, you know, I just teach what I learned. Teach what I learned. And today was a fantastic day. <laughs> I know I know, Mr. Lindo even caught that, you know, that GBPAUD probably did. And, but, you know, that's, that's the blessing, you know, all over the world. But 
we can always unite through calls like this. And not only just calls like this, but, you know, sharing the love and exposing each other to better opportunities. That's one thing I love about this platform, the fact that everyone can be someone. You can design your own life and live to the best of your abilities. And you know what? Right now, what further do? I don't want to take too much time. You know, we really took enough time. But further do, I want to bring to everyone to, to the attention of Mr. Stevenson Lindo, you know, Mr. Renko Edgy confirmed, you know, no entry, no retest. Live by the rules, you know. Stevenson Lindo, please make your way up to, you know, the microphone. Let's get this training on the way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I believe, wait a sec, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna, you're gonna flip this right. There we go, Stevenson, can you hear me, bro? Are you there? Yo, 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 what's up? Oh man, what's going on? London in the house, always. What's going on, guys? Uh, shoot, wasn't I with you guys uh, like a few weeks ago, right? For Montel, shout out to you, brand new chairman. 10, guys, show some love to this guy, man. Drop some emojis, some fire. This guy, man, chairman 10, man. Like, what are you, 12? 12 years old, <laughs> 10 and 10, you know? That's, that's amazing. That's, that's accomplishment right there, man. Like, seriously, shout out to his wonderful wife. I think she's like nine years old. Um, Charmin, Platinum 5, soon to be Chairman 10 herself. Um, they just, the kids are just killing this platform, man. They just, they're making me work. Like, I've I seen all these kids ranking up. I said, man, like, seriously, you talk about being transparent. I'm like, yo, there's no, excuse my language and everything. There's no fucking way I'm showing up to convention, not a chairman. I got to show up, chairman. I, there's no way all these kids are just bypassing me like this. So because of you guys, y'all got me working hard. I'm busting my ass. Um, literally day and night, as you can see, I don't even look like myself. I got this beard. It's crazy. And, and I'm just up all day, all night trying to rank up, train. I get no sleep, right? But shout out to the MVP. Wonderful job, man. Killing it. Already on, you know, bounce back and everything like that. So what I'm going to do for you guys is something. Um, Real simple, real easy, right? We're gonna go over a simple strategy. And as you guys always know, like if you if you don't follow me, um, I like to make people's life easy, all right? Really, really easy. And so easy to the point that, you know, you guys are listening to a bunch of educators all week, right? You're gonna listen to, uh, you listened to Rock yesterday. You got um, Luke, Go Cup coming up, everybody like that, boom, boom, boom. What I'm gonna show you, it, you can apply it anywhere anywhere if you follow the rules right just like mvb said yo you follow the rules you'll make money all right so i'm gonna make your lives easy 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 so whatever you learned yesterday whatever you learn tomorrow the day after you just keep this if there's anything you learn you're just like yo who is that homeless guy that was teaching that strategy on wednesday apply that apply that and you'll be fine you'll, you'll be fine you'll make money all right so we're gonna get right into it i'm gonna share my screen and let's get to this trading. So before we actually look at bounce back, right? I got to teach you the principles. I got to teach you the understanding of how this works, right? Now, everybody, doesn't matter. And this, this, this even works for brand new people. Even if you're brand new to the platform, you can understand this. All right. As long as you've made it past kindergarten, you understand your highs and lows, right? If you made it past kindergarten, you know your highs and lows. This is for you. This is so easy to the point. Again, you can you can teach this to your baby. All right. A brand new baby. Don't make money. Easy, right? All right. So as you guys know, the market goes in three directions, right? We can all agree. The market goes up, the market comes down, and the market moves sideways. Can we all agree on that? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody understand that part. Market goes up, it goes down, it moves sideways. This, that's not hard to figure out, right? So you got bullish, right? You got bears, and then you got consolidation, right? Sideways. Cool. All right. Now, when it comes to trading, everybody wants to just, you know, make money. It's easy to ride an uptrend. It's easy to ride a downtrend. Where everybody gets killed is during the consolidation, right? So what today, what we're going to focus on today's lesson is entries, all right? So I don't care how bad of a trader you are. I don't care uh, what you've gone through. I don't care, you know, I, I just don't care. If you understand entries, just entries, the simple formula, 
you will make money. You'll make money for life. I promise you, you'll make money for life. All right? So can we agree this is all an uptrend, right? I took this low, dragged it to the high, right? And what made it an uptrend, right, is a higher high, right? These higher highs. Meaning that every time price was going up, when it would pull back, it would create a new high, a new high, a new high. So in trading, this is basic stuff, right? This would be called a higher high, right? Higher high, or as we all know it, HH, right? And this would be a higher high. Right, HH. Actually, you don't you not only have higher highs, you have higher lows. So this would be an HL, higher low. Why? Because it's it's still high, but it's lower than this higher high. Right? And then this is the new higher high. And then this is the new higher low. Right? It's simple. See? This higher low is bigger than this higher low. It's bigger, higher low. And then you have this new higher high. And then this new higher low, right? Notice each level is what? Each level is what? Higher, right? Each level is higher. It keeps getting higher, right? Another higher high, another higher low. And last but not least, higher high. Now, notice this. Notice how price quickly shifted right? Now, this is where a lot of people get confused. Okay, it did drop, but how many of you guys, when you get in a trade, somebody, let's say, calls a buy or a sell, and they're like, okay, even though it pulled back, is it still going to go up? Is it still going to go up? Once price breaks the previous higher low, so in this situation right here, you're no longer in that trend. You're no longer in that trend. Now, the market has shifted. Everybody get that? Yes? you now make me a co-host bro um hit that by accident but yo does everybody get that what i was trying to say everybody understand that part yes 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 right this is no longer it's been shifted right and the reason why because a new high was not created right that's the whole point of a trend when something is trending new highs should always be created new lows should always be created that didn't happen. So the market shifted, all right? But here's the thing. Before you start even selling, at this point, everybody's like, okay, so should I start selling? No, you don't start selling, all right? And this is the golden rule. You actually just heard it about 10 minutes ago, right? You don't buy or sell ever without a retest. Retest is key, all right? You don't ever buy or sell without a retest. Can everybody say that? Everybody type that in the chat. You cannot buy or sell without a retest. Without that retest, without that retest, you cannot get in the market. Because if you get in the market without the retest, you're going to be in big trouble. You're going to be in very, very big trouble. All right? So... If you notice what price did, price tried to curve back around and it tried to break this high, right? It tried to break this high, but it never did, right? It never did. Now, most traders can, you know, very few, not everybody, very, very few. And I'm gonna show you a couple examples. Some traders can trade completely naked. But if you notice at the bottom, I have what you call is a MACD, it's an indicator. All right, now I'm not really big on indicators, but this indicator, I like to use it because it just flows very nicely. Now, this indicator is called the MACD 4C, right? So all you have to do is go to indicators and just type in MACD. Now it's all about preference. They all do the same thing. They all do the same thing. The one that I choose is the MACD 4C. The original is actually this one. Right, so it has three components, two moving averages, and then the histogram. It looks like a mountain in the background. 
which measures the strength of the trend. So as you can see, this entire uptrend was measured by this entire move right here. And this downtrend was measured by this entire move down here. Real simple, right? But I don't like the moving averages, so I can uh, I get rid of that. But again, preference. If you like it, you can add it. But my point is, so with the MACD, right, it measures the strength of the trend. Pretty much lets you know, right? We're in an uptrend, now we're in a downtrend. We're in a downtrend, now we're back in an uptrend. We're in an uptrend, now we're back in a downtrend. Downtrend, back. And that's all it does. Just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, when it's light green, that means the uptrend is strong, right? That means the trend is strong. When it's shaded like this, dark shaded green, that means the uptrend is getting weak, right? It's pulling. That means it's starting to turn, right? It's starting to turn. And when it crosses this zero line, right dead in the middle, I want you guys all to see that, right dead in the middle right here when it crosses that that means the trend has completely shifted so notice this coincides with this crossing over but look what happened when i put that line right there right so one of the biggest mistakes a lot of traders make they wait for this to cross over before jumping in for the sell but you're late to the party this is not a good sell entry, right? Yeah, you would have caught some of this sell, but this is not your ideal sell entry, right? But what you need to understand is when this crosses over, every time it crosses over, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, that is not your signal to jump in the trade. That is the market letting you know that, hey, we've shifted from an uptrend to a downtrend, but to confirm the trend, you need a retest. You see how this came back around, right? After it, this was the first crossover. You see how it came back around? You have to let it retest. You have to let it retest. Every time it crosses over, doesn't matter whether we're going from uptrend. So, so even if this wanted to be a buy, right? We crossed over to a buy. I would have to wait for another crossover come back around before I can get in for my buy every single time. So we just came from this uptrend. Now we're in a downtrend. So to confirm this downtrend, I need a retest. And look, look how when this crossed over, right? Look at the MACD. Look how it comes and it retests. And this is the trick, guys. This is the trick. Easy simple i can't dumb it down anymore i've been talking about this recently on my session guys every week i try to find ways to just make myself more dumb so i can help out the you know the little person the person who is struggling out there always crying can't trade can't win not making money so i try to you know i try to think like like as if i'm an idiot just so i can make life easy for you guys right and i think i figured it out so all you're essentially doing is when this crosses over, right? And it came back up here. Now, let me, got, let me ask you guys something, right? We're at the retest zone. When was the last time you seen green momentum, right? Say, talk to me in the chat. When was the last time you seen green momentum? When was the last time you seen this? Momentum, this histogram, when was the last time you've seen it? Right, where? The previous uptrend to the left, exactly. Simple as that. So all you do is, you see this? You compare it to the previous time and look at that. Now let me ask you, this is the question. This is the final question. Is this bigger? Is this higher than this? If we're looking for a cell, right? This. This indicates we're looking for a sell because this came down. So when it came to retest, is this higher than this? I'm asking you guys. This is, this is grade school. So uh, as long as you know what's high and low, this, this strategy is for you. Is this higher than this? You guys let me know. No, no, no. So guess what, guys? 
you sell. You sell. That's it. That's the strategy. You sell. You see this morning, I traded this morning with my guys. I traded this morning with my team. That's the strategy right there. You sell. You know why? Because if a trend is truly broken, a trend truly broken, it should not break the previous high or low. If a trend is previously, if a trend is truly broken, you cannot, right? If a trend, it should not break the previous high or low. So you see how price came up here, right? It didn't break and then we sold. So again, I got my sell. If I want to sell again, what do I need to wait for? If I want to sell again, what should I wait for? If I want to sell again, what should I wait for? A retest. So I let this come in retest. And look, I let it come back to the MACD area. And then again, what am I comparing this histogram to? This green one, I'm comparing it to what? You guys give me the answers, right? I'm comparing this to what? To the previous, to the last one, right? Which is here. Now the fatal question, is this higher than this? Is it higher? No, voila, we caught this entire downtrend. We caught this entire downtrend. This morning, I woke up, rolled out of bed, and I said, let's sell, boom. And then I went back to sleep. That was it. That's what we've been doing, right? Everybody understand that? Is that hard? Does everybody, did I, did I dumb it down enough for everybody to understand? Does everybody get that? Yes, right? So now we're gonna go to these products that everybody loves. I love Go Cup. I love the harmonic scanner. I love Bounce Back. I love uh, 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 Levels. Oh my God, Orin's the greatest. I love uh, Steady. John Dolery, yeah, those guys, they're the best. Listen, guys, I love the Pew Pew Squad. Everybody's Pew 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 Pew. All right, so let me um, let me let me just be honest. Everybody does the same shit. Everybody does the same shit, guys. Everybody does the same shit. Everybody does the same thing. If you act, if people actually paid attention, you would notice, huh? This is the same thing. Let me ask you guys something. How many of you guys watch Lasado? Anybody watch Teacup? Teacup? Teacup, Teacup, Teacup? Yes? Teacup, yes? Okay, Jeremiah, you watch Lasado. What is Lasado strategy based off of? Teacups, right? What is a teacup? What is a teacup? I'm gonna show you how you can kill his teacups every single time. You never have to go on a session again. When he drops a teacup, you know exactly what he do. Jeremiah, what exactly is a teacup? If you follow him, you should know, right? If you don't know, somebody type in the chat, what's a teacup? Bullish pairing, little thickness. That's, that's not really it. Basically, the teacup, the strategy, guys, is double tops, double bottom. This would be considered a teacup. This right here. All you have to do, guys, anytime. So I'm going to find an M. I'm going to, I'm a, again, dumb this down even more, right? This is exactly what Lasado does, right? Teacup, teacup, where's one? All right, if I find a good teacup, I'll show you. Oh, there we go. So you see this right here, right? This is a double top. This is an ugly double top, boom. But you see right here, when this crossed and then came back up, notice this did not break this high. See that crossover? All you do is compare. You compare and you see, is this higher than this? No, there's yourself. That's teacup. That's all the saddle's doing, right? Bounce back, as you guys know, I, um, I work with Trade House. 
why how come this thing always server down like the programmers be killing me man the programmers for go live be insane i had a conversation with chris terry the other day he's like yo steve what's up you got to get these numbers up yada 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 i'm like yeah can we get some freaking new programmers like this company's worth over like a hundred million two hundred now we've added what i think um fifty thousand customers in the last how many days I'm like, Chris, we need to start hiring programmers from freaking Google, Apple, not freaking Thailand and, and, and Pakistan and people who don't speak English. Like, we can afford it now, right? We shouldn't be having these type of issues. It's, a, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. These are the conversations I have with Chris behind closed doors that people don't know about. Um, is this thing up? Is this thing up? Loving this thing, letting me log in. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's try the harmonic scanner. Let's try that. Let's see if this lets me in. All right, there we go. All right. All right, so let's like the harmonic scanner, perfect example, right? Now, what I would do is I would swap out the RSI, right? I try to entertain people as I teach, you know, right? Can't just, you can't, like, like somebody just said, it's all about the voice. You can't teach without the proper voice, right? Like in New York, it was uh, snowing the other day. And I'm outside and I'm talking to my neighbor. We're like, damn, it's May and it's snowing. And I'm like, shoot, we should pay more attention to global warming. And you know why people don't take global warming serious? It's because the people relaying the message, their their voice is terrible. They just, you know, they sound like Mr. Clear Eye, the guy that does the commercial for Clear Eye. Just very, very boring, man. The way you relay the message is everything, right? The way you relay and teach is everything. Like I said, me, John. Uh, trade house, we all pretty much trade the same. We all have the same strategy, but if you don't relay your message correctly, nobody's going to hear you. Nobody's going to hear you. So if I wanted to take this trade on CAD JPY, you see where it's telling me to enter? It would be very hard for me to enter on this, especially after seeing a strong bearish candlestick like that. So that's what I do when I'm trading, um, when I'm trading the harmonic scanner. I wait for a crossover, the shift of momentum, a retest, and then I buy. So you see this downtrend right here? You guys all see that? Look at the MACD. It was on an uptrend, but then look what happened. It shifted momentum, it crossed that zero line, right? It crossed that zero line. And then look what it did. It retested. It came back and retested the zero line. See that? And this did not break this, right? Yes, you're going to say, well, the wick went up, Steve. Yes, the wick, but the body. Remember, a break in market structure, you need the body of the candlestick, not the wick. So even though you had the fake out, boom, and you had your continuation down, right? As long as this didn't get broken, your overall direction was sell. So if I'm going to get in on a buy, and thank God nobody would get in on a buy on this. This is why I always tell people, these tools are very good if you utilize it properly with a good strategy, right? Because then you get in on a trade like this, you'll be losing right now. You're not a happy customer, right? So what I like to do is I like to use a tool. I like to wait for it to shift trend, right? So go from downtrend to uptrend, wait for the retest, and then I look for my buy. And then I'll take profit at one of these accordingly. Um, so let me try bounce back one more time. It will lock me. These guys are killing me, man. Give me a second, guys. Let me let me let me yell at my programmers. I'm I'm supposed to be on here promoting bounce back and then server down. We'll be back. All right. This this is story of my life. This is what I deal with behind scenes. People don't know that. Killing me. 
If not, we will get another product just to prove my point. All right. And... All right. So the server is down. Matter of fact, let me do it this way. I think we still got the old. I and bounce back. I think we got the old version. All right. Let me see if the old version works. All right, the old version works. Perfect. So I gotta go to the old version. Welcome to IML, everybody. We 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 serve. We aim to serve and please, right? So this is perfect right here. And I want to show you guys Trade House. So everybody knows Trade House, right? Yes, everybody knows Trade House. Everybody knows Trade House. Shout out to Zach. Shout out to Mike Miles. Shout out to Jordan. These guys, they're phenomenal, phenomenal traders. They're phenomenal, phenomenal traders. Right? So we're going to go over these trade setups that they call, right? And the reason why I wanted to bring up the bounce backs to show you guys like what they were looking for. So let's start. So they got this buy on Great Britain on, right? They were looking for it on the five minute time frame. So watch this. So let's go to Great Britain on. Right, so great brand odd, perfect. So you see this, and I actually called this out on um, Pip Talk just for verification, right? You've always asked, Steve, do you take the trades that you call out? Of course. I'm not gonna make you guys get in trade setups that I don't get in trade setups, right? So they were looking for a buy on bounce back for great brand odd right on the five minute time frame, we got news coming out. So check this out, check this out. You see this, this was the low price crossed over, came down. And let me ask you guys, did it break the low? Did this break this low? Yes or no? No, guys, you can't say yes. Remember, what do I? What did I say? The body of the candlestick, not the wick, not the wick, not the wick. See, the wick doesn't count. If the body of it is not breaking through the structure, then you can't. That doesn't count. The wick, right? So you had your move to the upside. There you go, and. that boom entries there 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 right there 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 same thing on odd cat we took let's see here s p 500 they were looking for a sell opportunity so same thing s p x 500 this is a simple system, not hard, right? So I talked about this last night, boom, bearish flag, wait for this, wait for this. So they did this yesterday, right? This is the cell that they were looking for. So my point is guys, we all do the same thing. The only thing is that doesn't let me bring up uh, what they were looking for. Um, again, unfortunately, the other one is the service down, but the system, what I'm telling you, is right there. So they did this on the five minute time frame, and literally, this is what they did. Right? Boom. Their cell was here, right? So look, this was the top. It crossed over, pulled back, retest. And all you're doing is comparing the retest to the previous. This is the retest. Is this higher than this? Is that higher than that? 
that higher than that? No. No, guys. There's yourself. You know why? Because when something is trending, there is always going to be a new high. There is always going to be a new low. So it doesn't matter. Product, service. Um, I don't have steady. I wish somebody else had a product, another tool. I would uh, show you guys access. But it's the same thing over and over again. So you see when this came back around and retested? Now, some people think, oh, this is a big histogram. So we should be looking for a buy. This is small. No, it doesn't matter, right? This is much bigger than this. We can all agree. But I don't look at the indicator for that. All I'm using the MACD for is to understand positioning on the charts. Where is price? So as you can see, price is here and then price is here. Clearly, the momentum is way bigger than it is here. But when I bring up the chart, this is here and this is here. So let me ask you guys, is this higher than this? Is it? Is that higher than that? No. No. So Dell, if the retest is higher, if it's going to go up, you have to now wait for the retest for it to go up. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. You see? So perfect example when a trend is over, right? So let me go from a downtrend to an uptrend. Perfect example. I'm glad you asked that. From a downtrend to an uptrend, right? So as you can see here, right? This is going up. It retested here. So if I compared to the previous retest, which was down here, clearly I'm buying, right? Boom. Another retest. Clearly, I'm buying, right? But look, when it shifted and came back, it did not create a new high. It did not create a new high. So I'm not buying. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to sell. I'm going to wait for a retest of the sell to confirm we are in a sell when it came back. This was at the same level as this, right? Remember, the body of the candle has to break above. There was your short-term sell. Does that make sense? Everybody get that, right? So when your retest goes higher or lower, right? If it goes higher or lower, that means the market is shifting. So every time the market shifts, again, guys, the rules, you need a way for a retest to confirm that trend. That's it. That's literally it. Guys, you can understand this system. Your trading game will go through the roof, right? And this was boom. So once again, if I want to get in for another sell, I would have to wait for what? Another retest. So let this come around. Let it retest. And look, right here, I compare this to this. It's not higher, so I sell. I wait for another retest. Now this got broken. So like you were saying, now this got broken. So Stevenson, do I buy now? No, I can't buy. I have to wait for a retest in order to buy. When this came back and retested, what happened? Price broke. Price broke this high. So now I'm not, I'm not buying anymore. We've broken that high. We broke that region where we were supposed to be looking for that buy. So now I'm not looking for a buy anymore. Now I'm back to selling again. All I got to do is always wait for a what? Anytime I want to buy or sell, I would always wait for a what? A retest. That's it. A retest. So Chris, the targets and everything like that, like I said, today I wanted to just go over entries because I know for a fact, if you guys can just even get better entries, the take profit, everything else, that's easy.
So like something simple, just, just trade based off of support and resistance. So like, let's say if I was selling, let's say if I wanted to take profit on this, right? So again, retest, exactly. I come here, this is my retest zone. Right here. And then it came back around, retested right here. I compare it to this. Clearly, this is not higher than this. This is not higher than this. Boom. But I would just, your nearest support zone, whatever time frame you're trading, next support. So look left, find your support. If I'm looking for a buy, find your resistance. If I was looking for this to go up, resistance zone. Go up. That's literally it. That's literally it. You guys can apply this to anybody's strategy. Guys, don't you notice when Luke is teaching, he's always going to, like, when he comes tomorrow, whenever, he's going to be like, yeah, wait for a retest. How many of you guys love uh, Christopher Derrick? You watch Christopher Derrick during London session, right? Because that's when you guys are all up. Because God knows not a lot of you guys stay up for my session. It's like 2, 3 in the morning, right? That's your guy. How does he mark up the chart? This is Chris, right? How does he mark up the chart? Yo, guys, when is that? This is his markups, this, this, or if it's going up, wait for this, this. What do you think that pullback he's talking about? That's how he marks up the chart, right? What is that pullback? He'll, he'll mark up his zones, right? This is what Chris does. He'll do, it'll be stuff like this, zone, zone. And then basically it's, it's this. That's how he trades. What do you think that pullback he'd be talking about? Guys, that's the retest. Look, look at the bottom. That's the retest he's talking about. He's talking about wait for the retest. So now you guys have something to compare because people would always ask me, how do you know when the retest is done? Just compare it to the previous. See, compare this red to this red. Oh, this is not breaking. Now you can look left, find your engulfing candlestick, wait for a bullish one, and then that's your takeoff. Right? When you watch Kim, when you watch Kim, and she's uh, doing her, her trades on US 30 and everything like that, what's her setup? Wait for the break, retest, wait for this, retest. Like I said, when you're watching um, Bounce Back Guys, Trade House, they're the same way. Let's see if this is back up. They're the same way. Oh my God. We really got some crappy programmers. But they're the same way. It's the same thing all across the board, guys. All across the board. Matter of fact, hold on. Um, you, you guys know me. I'm all about transparency. These guys posting. Um, oh, you know what I can do? I can go to uh, Crypto Talk. So I'll do this. Crypto Talk. I think they post in the Crypto Talk channel, if I'm not mistaken. Right? That's why I said if you pay attention to how people trade, it's the same thing, man. Nobody's there. They just call it something else. Right? They call it liquidity. They call it institutional. They call it all of that stuff. But in reality, What's the smoke and clear? It's like watching a magician performing in front of you. A magician, you know, the whole goal is to shock the crowd. Wow. But you don't see all the work that goes on behind the scene. If you really pay attention, you'll see what they're, what they're trying to do. Where did they put their markups here? No. All right. Let's do that. This bounce back. All right. I want you guys to really see this so you understand. What were they looking for? Live trading. Where's that? Where's that markup? All you got to do, follow the rules, follow the rules, follow the rules. Right here, perfect. So you see this? This was S&P, the 500. You see where their entry was? Their entry is on the retest because price, right? Their entry was on the retest because price did not break that high. 
That's why their entry was right there. Price did not break that high. That's how they caught that drop. Price didn't break that high, right? This is all they do. When everybody comes to me and they're like, yo, this, this. And I'm like, guys, if you really pay attention, it's always in front of you. The trick to everybody, the genius to everybody's training is always in front of you. The S&P, you see how they're, they're, they're um, showing their chart, right? You know what they're doing? They're identifying the highs and lows. They're trying to see right before takeoff, when is this thing going to end? As soon as they figure out like, okay, this is not going up higher no more. It's not going down lower no more. Boom, they execute their trade. Look at Jordan right here. Screenshot Haven. What do you think that is? Why do you think their stop loss is here? Why do you think his entry is right here? Because it didn't break, the trend was over. So you don't see it on this, but all this was, was a retest. Retest for the sell. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. Right? Right, right, right. So um, let me leave you guys with a gift. I'm actually already in this trade, AudCAD. This has a great, great move to the downside, right? A bomb move to the downside. Uh, let's see, let me do this. Station clear, all drawings. All right. So we're at the weekly high. I'm actually already in this trade. This is an easy one. Watch out for odd news tonight. Basically, I'm expecting odd to get weak. So say it with me, guys. We have a what? Cross, right? So that means this is my high point. So now, all I'm waiting for is a what? All I'm waiting for is a what here? I'm waiting for a retest. Let this retest. When this retest and I get green momentum here, I just compare it to this green momentum here. If it doesn't break this high, guess what's gonna happen? I'm home free, I got myself. I'm home free, I got myself. This pulls back and there's supposed to be news at 9 p.m. tonight, I'm home free. Boom, odd cash, that's for tonight. And this is at the, the weekly high. Look, look where we're at. So I'm looking for a big drop. This is obviously gonna take weeks. It's not gonna happen overnight, but within the next few hours, you can make a quick 100 pips going to this, right? So I'm in this already. I'm in Great Britain Odd already, Odd USD already, but there you go, right there. Easy, easy. Like I said, guys, you can change your life in one day. So did everybody learn something? Was this the easiest session you've probably been on in the last, however sessions you've done, right? Was this easy, simple? Was it difficult? Did I sit here and tell you, hey guys, you gotta look for the flag here and you gotta understand this. Like I said, I, I, I really tried to dumb this down as hard as possible, right? No cap. I try to make it as easy, right? You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm trying to help the little people here. I'm trying to help that, that slow person. Like, as long as you know your highs and lows, you're good. This is easy. And you can use this on any strategy, anything, doesn't matter. Luke, John Dolary, whatever. You can apply it everywhere. That's right, man. I got to help the little people, man, because, you know, yeah, I got, you know, that's what God did. You know, when God created this world, God said, you know what? I'm going to have smart people. I'm going to have a little slow people. You know, the slow people, we got to give advantage to. We got to make them, you know, the superstars. We got to make them athletes, you know, singers, rappers. We got to make them rich. All the smart people in the world, we got to make them work hard. That's how God balanced the world. So all these guys come to trading, you got to make your lives easy. That's it. That's literally it. All right. Any questions? Real quick, any questions I can help you guys with? Before I pass this on to Montel, I think this was the easiest session I've ever done. 
for an international team. No question. Yeah, you can go on my go live, go live Sundays and Tuesday nights. Just go on my go live Sundays, Tuesday nights, and boom. How do you snipe entries? You can't be serious, dude. You can't, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. We just <laughs> oh man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna act like that question didn't exist. <laughs> Um, oh, Instagram. Yes, for sure. Steven underscore Lindell. That's my IG. Steven underscore Lindell. All right. Any other questions I can help you with? Dude, we just, uh, I don't know. I wasn't trying to make fun of you, Bright, but I mean, that's thats what I just spent this whole session on, just going over entries. So whatever you're looking at, whenever you want to buy something, that's thats how you snipe. I just I just showed you, right? How many pairs do I trade? Uh, it all depends. Um, like this morning, I basically traded all the odd pairs. So we got in GA buy, odd cat sell, odd Swiss franc sell, odd JPY sell, and odd USD sell. So it all depends on like, what's out there, what's setting up, right? It's just about proper risk management. Yeah, the smaller the time frame, the more precise the entry is. There you go, MVP knows, the official MVP knows. Advice for somebody placing their first ever trade. Take your time, take your time, be patient. Don't rush the process. I know watching other people's success could be hard sometimes because we as human beings, we like to compare ourselves to everybody else. And you know, it's always hard when you've seen someone else succeed running up the ladder. So I, I'm going to tell you, just be patient. Your time is going to come. Learn the skill set. Learn the skill set. The money will come, right? The money is going to come. Money follows skill. All right? Money follows skill. If you don't have the skill, money is not going to follow you. Follow the skill. Follow the skill. All right, so that's my advice to you. Anybody else? What time frame you mainly look at when you look for a trade? I like trading on the daily and the four hour, right? So the higher the time frame, because those are the stronger confirmation. Those are where the big moves happen. I like to make big profits. So, boom. Yes, back test, back test. Definitely, I always tell people to back test any of the crap that I'm talking about, you know? And if it doesn't work, you can put me on blast. You know what I mean? You can be like, yo, that guy Stevenson was full of shit. That's it. All questions answered. All right. So I hope you guys had fun. I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope I wasn't too blunt, too transparent, but that's just how I operate. I rather not lie to you. Some people think I'm too uh, forward, but listen, the market is more of a savage. The difference between me and the market, I don't take your money. So if you think I'm hard, I'm aggressive, I'm too real, the market is real. The market is the one who takes your money. The market is the one who makes you depressed. The market is the one who makes you emotionally go crazy. And I don't make you do that. So I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. You know what I mean? Um, no chain settings on the MACD. It's all um, default. Just, just pick it and you're good to go. Right? That's it. And honestly, when, once you master this, you can risk whatever you want, but I'm gonna say the professional thing and say, you know, one to 3% per trade, Lola, all right? All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry I couldn't get up the official bounce back, definitely still subscribe. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna be honest, if you subscribe to bounce back, mostly stick to uh, the sniper side, trade house, because they do all the work. Most people just want signals, so Sniper, um, Trade House, they get you all the signals. They, they do all the work. They tell you exactly when they're going to buy, when they're going to sell. If you didn't see that when I was sharing my screen um, with the, you know, they drop, they tell you everything. And they trade live. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9.30. I know 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, they trade live. So they give you all the answers, like pure accuracy, guys. Like pure accuracy. So. I really tell people, get on bounce back, especially Sniper. 
Zach, Jordan, they're amazing. But I, I just wanted to let you guys know, yo, you, what they do, what every other trader does, you guys can do the exact same thing. You just got to understand what's happening in front of you. All right? Yo, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. I'm not going to forget you, uh, Martel. I got you, dog. I'll change you back. And I'm glad you guys like this. Glad you guys learned anything. Where are you at? I don't see you, Mato. I'm looking in M. Where you at? Is it Mr. His IG name? What's his IG name? Isn't it just Mato? Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, there you go. All the IGs right there. I found you. Got you. All right, perfect. Sheesh. I just want to give it back to you, bro. I love you. I want to let you know I love you. <laughs> bro, thank you. For sure, you. for sure, man. So, 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 so much, bro. Not only was that the best session, that was just the most funniest session. <laughs> <laughs> like, you had me bugging out, bro. I was laughing, crying. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, guys, let's show some appreciation. Go and drop him Appreciate a follow. you guys. Go and follow at Stevenson underscore Lindor. Right? I just made a post of him as well. He's an absolute legend. I love him. Um, you know, he always helps us out as an organization. And, you know, this organization is where it is, you know, because of you, bro. Thank you so much for your servant leadership, bro. You don't have to do this. As you said, you're building yourself. You've got teams all over the place world and you know you made time for us today bro so we really appreciate you we love you so much bro thank you thank you thank you god bless you amen let's go okay guys we're gonna end up here i want to thank every single one of you guys for plugging in if you got nuggets right from this call go back into the ice chat fire it up let everybody know that if they weren't on this call they can't miss tomorrow because this call was off the chains. It had me laughing, had me crying, it had me doing all types of stuff. It was crazy. So go show some appreciation to Shami. She reached out to Stevenson. She said, we got to get him on the trade camp. And then we made it happen. So, you know, thank you so much, Shami. Thank you so much, Stevenson. And thank you for plugging in, guys. All right? So let's go all the way. Appreciate every single one of you. Go fire up the ice chat. And let's get it. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. And as I said, all of the YouTube videos will be uploaded tonight so all of the zoom calls will be uploaded tonight on youtube if you don't currently follow the youtube channel uh let me just share my screen so you guys can see it go and follow the youtube channel now go subscribe to it a lot of stuff's on there i think i was actually trying to upload something just there okay cool so here's the youtube channel so it's literally this is the back end okay cool you'll see it if let me just go to youtube Right, so all the mentorship calls that we do is right here. Um, there we go. So it's right there. You know, you can screenshot that. You can go follow it, go subscribe to it. It's a, it's a great way as well. If you have people that haven't signed up yet because they don't have the income, you can get them on these videos. All the chairman mentorship calls that we were doing, um, all the trading calls, you know, the ice parties, the university events the presentation, everything, it's all here, guys. So go and subscribe to it. Let's get to 300 subscribers tonight. And again, if you have people that want to get started but they don't have the funds to get started, you can just get them, you know, watching this content on the YouTube channel. So guys, love every single one of you guys. Have a great night. Appreciate you guys. Go show some appreciation in that group chat. We love you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. You thought we was going to end the call without the chairman scream? Oh, no. Oh, uh-uh, not with me on the call. Y'all thought you was getting away with it, uh-uh. When I get to free, everybody get your phones out, turn your screen on right now. Tell me up in your headphones right now. <laughs> you know, they call me Montel Boomer once some more, not Metro. <laughs> yo, 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 everybody, when I get to free, I want to hear the biggest chairman scream as if you just became that millionaire, you just became that billionaire that it's already done, right? So when it happens in the physical, 
I want to see how every single one of you guys are going to react. So I'm going to get to free. I want to hear every single one of y'all scream at the top of your lungs as if we are going all the way as if it's already done. So one, two, three, three. Oh, it's so fine. Thank you.